Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Here are the images you required. I have six images of my Instagram account. So I have imported it to After Effects. So here is the clip which I used to create this video. So this you need to imagine. First of all, we need to track my frames motion. So we need to go to layer, select new. I select create a null object so, so let's rename it and give it a name called tracker so let's start tracking if your tracker is not available you may go to the window and select it right there so we need to go to the point where a phone is going to appear so then we need to click track motion and there we have to choose a particular point so let's zoom it uh, yeah and then select that inner layer and the outer layer make it quite wider it would be more easier for after effects to track and select a highly contrast point so there are two particular ways by using which we can track so we can go frame by frame before that we need to go to edit target and select the tracker and here we have frame by frame option or we can choose to directly play the tracker so at the end of the tracking we have to stop and click apply so it will ask for x and y coordinates don't change that before ok so as you can see the tracker points all are available in that layer and in the tracker also so next what we need to do we need to import all those images then what we need to do is we need to drag the first image in between the tracker and the movie layer we need to select a 3d option so the image is actually a 3d object now you can move it along with the, with the mouse and also change the points of the transform like orientation according to your uses it will work with 25 39 and something around 345 so then drag the pick wave to the null object so let's trim the clip and right click on the image layer and select pre-compose and press ok so what will do it will create a layer for the image as you can see in the right side of the movie layer you will find that particular composition let's drag the four images to that composition and trim it let's trim the first also okay then go back to the composition and select the first entry point of the images there only and that particular point you need to drag the first image to the that point so we need to figure out that at what point it so change so we need the second point where it should change 
we have selected it in the mobile layer then we'll go to the image layer and trim it to that we need to trim it with some bit extra amount of it so that we can put an animation right over there let's drag the second image at that particular point and select the first image press s for scale and select the toggle button so we are creating two points the first point will be at 100 and the second will be zero select the keyframe point and make it zero so what will happen it will gradually decrease same thing we're gonna do that for the second image select the second image and press s button for scale here we'll do it alternatively we'll first we'll make it zero and then what we'll do we'll make it 100 so as you can see the second image is popping up so this is the animation that gonna appear in the movie layer so for the third image we also have done the same thing so I have first provided that so till then please enjoy the music Okay, in the fourth image, what we gonna do, we gonna create the animation differently. So press P for position. Let's make it smaller and add a keyframe with that particular position. And the next keyframe will be at the top as we have a scroll transition. And for the second image, what we'll do, we'll make it from down to the top. adjust it okay so that's the animation we are looking for for the scroll animation and for the third one also we'll do it in the same way so I'll always select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and go for easy easy so it what it will make it will make the animation a bit smooth so for the fourth and fifth image we have done the same that position animation and lastly what we need to do we need to click and open a last image so here also we may, we have that similar kind of scale transition from 0 to 100 as you can see so we have fast forwarded it so for the last part the image should disappear in proper way so same thing the scale animation we have done in the image layer of the moving okay that's it from my side hope you like it please like comment and share the video also don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you again bye, -bye.